Hello students, in this video we'll prove Holder's inequality. If we're given two sequences of real numbers, x1, x2, up to xn, and y1, y2, up to yn, then for P and Q greater than or equal to 1, such that 1 over P plus 1 over Q is equal to 1. We have Holder's inequality And Holder's inequality states the following. It says that the sum j goes from 1 up to n of the absolute value of x, j, y, j is no more than the sum j goes from 1 to n of x, j to the power p to the 1 over p times the sum j goes from 1 to n of y, j to the power q to the 1 over q power over here. That's the Holder inequality, okay? And what these quantities over here are, or is this quantity over here, is called the LP norm. This is the little LP norm of the sequence. So this thing over here is the sequence xj in little LP. And this is the sequence yj in little LQ. So those are norms over there. So that's what the Holder inequality states. So in order to prove this inequality, we're going to make a couple of reductions. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prove a lemma. And this lemma is Young's lemma. Of course, it, is, it suffices to assume that none of these, that these sequences over here are strictly not, not zero, right? Because the more zeros I have here, that's not going to affect anything, right? So the lemma is that if x and y, if a and b, let's say that a and b are greater than zero, then what can we say? That we can say that a times b for the same values of p and q then a times b is less than or equal to 1 over p a to the power p plus 1 over q b to the power q, like that. So that's the Young's inequality over there. And so how do you prove this lemma? The proof of the lemma goes as follows. Proof. Okay. We know that f of x, which is the log of x, that's of course natural log for us, that's just natural log is concave, is concave. And that means, meaning what? Meaning that f double prime of x is strictly less than zero, right? So it's a concave function. And we know concave functions are characterized by this inequality over here, that f of lambda x plus one minus lambda y is going to be bigger than or equal to, bigger than or equal to lambda f of x plus one minus lambda f of y. That's my convex inequality, right? Learn it like this. <clears throat> and so what we'll do is we're going to apply and in, in, uh, these 1 over p plus 1 over q plays the role of my lambda, right? So let's do it. So if we apply this result, what are we going to have? So I can say, therefore, that the log of 1 over p a to the power p plus 1 over q b to the power q is bigger than or equal to 1 over p, the log of a to the power p plus 1 over q, the log of b to the power q, right? And of course, now these powers of p will come out and these powers of q will come out by properties of logarithms, and therefore this is just equal to the log of a, b. And now by taking logarithms of both sides, we can conclude the inequality. Okay, excellent. And so now what I want to do is the following. So what I'd like to do now is now we have this lemma over here. I'm going to use this lemma, but I'm going to apply to a new sequence over here. What we're going to do is that we're going to set xi tilde, absolute value, to be xi, absolute value, over the LP norm, right? Again, if the LP norm of this sequence over here was equal to zero, then all the x, xj's would be equal to zero, and there would be a trivial inequality, right? And then likewise, we'll set this over here. We're going to set y i tilde to be the y i's over the l q norm of the y i's of that sequence of the l q norm over here like that okay 
All right, so now, what can I say? Now I can say that xi tilde yi tilde by Young's inequality, so xi tilde xi tilde yi tilde is going to be equal to what? It's going to be equal to, by Young's inequality, less than or equal to, less than or equal to 1 over p, 1 over p xi xi to the power of p over the LP norm of xj to the power of p, like that, plus 1 over q, plus 1 over q, like that, and then yi, yi to the power of q, all divided by yj q, q, just by Young's inequality. And now I'm going to sum from 1 to n, right? So let's do that. So I'm going to sum j goes from 1 to n of xj tilde yj tilde. Well, that's going to be less than or equal to 1 over p. And the reciprocal of this LP norm and the sum of the xi to the power p. So i goes from 1 to n of xi to the power p. Again, the, the indices don't matter so much over here, right? And then plus 1 over q, 1 over the y's in LQ to the power of q, right? And then the sum, the sum i goes from 1 up to n of yi to the power of q. Now, of course, what is yi to the power of q? It's just going to be the L Q norm of the y of the sequence y to the power of q, right? So this sum over here and this norm over here will cancel each other out. And this sum over here, by the same reasoning, and this sum over here will cancel each other out. That's the homogeneity inequality. And so this just turns into 1 over p plus 1 over q, which by assumption is equal to 1 right there, right? Now, what I can do is I can replace these x i tildes, y i tildes with what they actually are, right? So what we'll do now is I'll say that this over here is really what? This is really x j over x j in L p. And this over here is really y j, and that's really y j in L q, like that. That's what these things are by assumption over here. So now what this tells me is this tells me that the sum j goes from 1 to n of just x j y j is less than or equal to what? By throwing those LP norm and LQ norms on the other side of the equality, I can get an x j, the sequence x j in L P times the sequence y j in L Q, and that proves Holder's inequality, right? So we can see over here exactly the role that Young's inequality, the, the concavity or the convexity, played in the proof of the Holder inequality. The Holder inequality now will allow me to conclude lots of results about the norms, about the LP and LQ norms over here, right? So these things over here are just called, these are called little LP and little LQ norms of these sequences, right? So we're going to study these little LP and little LQ spaces in further videos, but the Holder inequality gives us a fundamental inequality that helps us prove lots of results about the sequences and giving inequalities that stem from convexity. Thank you very much.